Honey, we'll off your eye. Yes, honey, in a few minutes. For a love it. <laughs> yes, honey, I'll make dinner right now. My wife is definitely hungry. You like my ear lava lava and my Simone shirt? I'm all ready to make some chili tonight. So we are making Wendy's chili. Wendy's chili, here's a little packet of hot sauce from them, is the little girl with the uh, red braids. Now there's restaurants all over the world, in America especially, and in New Zealand. Unfortunately, there's none in Australia and none in Samoa or American Samoa. So I'm gonna show you how to make the best darn recipe for Wendy's chili ever. And I'm gonna go over all the ingredients for you, okay? Uh, let's get started. So like I said, Wendy's chili is, at least in America, is saying for a restaurant, it is some of the best chili ever. And this is a perfect copycat recipe. And you can make the chili taste just like Wendy's chili. So what you're gonna need is two pounds of hamburger. I've got two of the one pounds here. These were $2.62 a pound, $2.62. Let me know if that's a, a good price or not from compared to where you live at. You're gonna need some celery. You're gonna need a big pot. You're gonna need a little bit of sugar. You're gonna need one onion. You're gonna need some pureed tomatoes, some tomato juice, some kidney beans, some pinto beans, or they call them chili beans as well, but they're the same thing, pinto beans. You're gonna need some oregano leaves, pepper, chili powder, ground cumin, cayenne pepper, salt, and garlic powder, and of course a few measuring spoons. All right, let's get started. Okay, before we get started, we're gonna put the big pot on the burner and turn it on to like medium for now. And then we're gonna put in the two pounds of hamburger meat. So this is just regular ground hamburger meat, nothing special about it, just normal hamburger meat. Okay, while we're waiting on the hamburger to start browning, we're gonna make a little bowl of all the dry seasoning that we're gonna use. So first you need a, a quarter cup. So this is a quarter cup right here of chili powder. And for it to be a quarter cup, it has to be filled to the top, almost there. Close enough, there we go. One quarter cup of chili powder. Next we need a teaspoon of cumin. There is a teaspoon of cumin. We need one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. Yeah, it won't hurt it. So there's one and, oh, there's a half. <laughs> We're gonna need a teaspoon of salt. And of course, like if you've watched my videos, I'm using no salt, which is a salt substitute that tastes exactly like salt and functions just like salt with any recipe that you need. And then we need a, let's see, I believe we need some pepper. The pepper though, we're only gonna put in half a teaspoon of pepper. So this little handle is a half a teaspoon. There we go. All right, we're almost done with the drying. Okay, we're gonna need a half a teaspoon of sugar. There we go half a teaspoon of sugar, and also half a teaspoon of the dried oregano leaves. And last but not least, we need an eighth of a teaspoon in cayenne pepper, or I mean, uh, yeah, cayenne pepper. You know I love hot stuff though, but I, well, I was gonna put in a whole half a teaspoon, but for my wife's sakes, I only put in that eighth. There we go, and that is all the dry ingredients. Meanwhile, the meat is starting to brown. I just don't want to cook it too fast, but it is browning. Let's mix some of the wet ingredients now. All right, I'm using a bigger bowl. We need four cups of tomato juice, or one quart, same thing. Let me get my measuring cup. There's two. Mm 
And a little more. There we go. And there's four cups of tomato juice. And we're also going to add in this one can of pureed tomatoes. Oops, kind of messy. I might be able to add my beans in this big thing too. <laughs> but I don't want to make a mess, so I'll probably wait and do those separately. You don't need to really stir this up because you're going to stir that up once it hits the pot. All right, we're seeing a bit. Once all this is done uh, being brown, and then I'll come back and show you what the next step are. Okay, so you can see it's nice and brown now. There's still some big chunks. You don't want to make it too ground, so I'm going to go drain that. And while it's draining, I'm going to cut up the vegetables. Okay, the grease is draining off the meat. So I'm going to cut up some celery. And you usually want to make it about that thick. And you're going to do, I believe, half a cup. I mean, if you like more celery, you can add more celery. But I'm going to do half a cup because that's exactly what the recipe uh, that I tinkered around with for months and months called for. To get it perfectly just like Wendy's chili. Okay, so I had half a cup. I'll put that in there. And now I just need to chop up one onion. Okay, get the onion here. Peel off that skin here. All right. And this, you don't need to make the chunks uh, too small, but you don't want to make them too big either. So basically, I just slice about a half an inch little sections. And then I do the same going the other way. About a half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. And that can go in there with the celery. And you're going to do the whole onion. I'll do it this way. So half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. And half an inch and half an inch. There we go. We've got everything ready. Now we just have to wait for the meat to drain. Okay, the meat is now drained. And I'm going to start adding the ingredient. Well, first, I'm going to turn the burner off. I'm going to turn it on to high. Now, I'm not going to leave it on high. But while I'm putting the stuff in, it's okay to leave it on high. So first, let's do the wet ingredient. Let me see if I can get a good angle here. And I'll try not to make a mess. There we go, puree and the tomato juice. And then I'm gonna do the, the seasoning. Maybe give that a little stir while I'm waiting. I'm gonna add the kidney beans. Now, these canned kidney beans, when you buy them, they have some liquid in it, like to preserve it, I guess. Drain that out. Do not use that watery bean liquid. <laughs> it's as bad as using hot dog water. And also use the chili beans or pinto beans. Same thing with these. If you get them from a can, they have sauce in it. Try to drain that off as much as you can. It's a very hearty uh, chili, but it sure is delicious. Last but not least, we're going to put in the onions and celery. <laughs> use my GoPro to bang it. All right, so that is it. I'm just gonna stir it around. Now, as soon as it shows any sign of boiling, I am gonna turn it on to the lowest setting, like simmer. But it, it works great if you have a pan that conducts heat really well, because the pan will hold on to that heat for a long time. And you can mix it once or twice while it's cooking, but you really don't even need to. All right. So there we go. Once it stops, starts bubbling, I am going to turn it down to low right there. And then I'm going to put a cover on it. And I'm going to set the timer for one hour. And then we's going to eat some chili and mama won't sauce me. All right. It is now starting to boil. So I'm going to give it one more stir. And the same time, I'm going to turn the heat down to low. Give it a stir. Make sure nothing's sticking at the bottom, which it I've never had a problem with that happening. And then we're going to put the cover on it. Set the timer for one hour. Oop. There we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And bang. We'll see you in an hour. And we will enjoy. Okay, it has been one hour. 
I stirred it once or twice during the uh, during the hour, but not much. You can just let it set and simmer. All right, we're gonna get lots of uh, chili and vegetables in there, and put it in my wife's dish, just like that. And I'll set it on this little plate. And then also what's tradition with Wendy's chili or chili in America is to eat it with some saltine crackers. You can also eat it with some cornbread or whatever you enjoy, but this is the traditional way to eat Wendy's chili. Let's see if my wife likes it. All right, now we're gonna see if my wife likes the chili. Here she goes. You like your Wendy's chili? I made it just for you, baby. That's nice, sweetie. Oh, good. Can I have some now? No, not until you scrub the floor. Scrub the floor? Yes, honey. I'm cleaning as best I can. I'm so hungry. 